Hello, Desert Edge. I'm Dylan Auer, president of the show choir class. Please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in a quick moment of silence. Thank you. DETV is starting right now. Hello, and welcome to the first episode of a new semester. Today is Friday, January 22nd, 2021. I'm Von Hobrich. And I'm Anyanka Carlson. Today's show, we will have an entertaining look at the world of remote learning. And DE basketball is off to a great start. And speaking of great starts, let's get started with today's announcements. Our one and only announcement is club news. Spring 2021, the Anime Club will be meeting every Friday during AO for fun. New and old members welcome theirs low pressure and hang out with like-minded individuals to share jokes, anime updates, and how to identify good stories. And that is our one and only announcement today, but we know more is happening at DE. We urge our teachers, students, and clubs to submit announcements, story ideas, and more by emailing us at detv2012 at gmail.com. Coming up after the break, an update on what's going on in the world. And a little bit later in the show, we will look at an overturned decision by the AIA regarding winter sports. Don't go anywhere, DE. With the new schedule of the semester at DE, classes have gotten longer and there are little to no breaks besides lunch. As if the schedule isn't hard enough at home, students are vulnerable to many distractions such as television, cell phones, and video games, which adds on to the study that teenagers only have a 10 to 20 minute attention span. These distractions can block academic growth and can lead to poor grades and other unwanted consequences. To avoid such an outcome, here are some proven ways to keep yourself on track. Studies have shown that having a study place outside can improve memory and attention span. Not only that, but even just having pictures of nature and households can have the same improvement. It is also proven that powering off all electronics and putting them outside of view would increase a student's focus. So put away your phones and devices, sit outside, and focus in class. Have a great second semester, DE students. Welcome back. Athletics are a part of the, high, the American high school experience, but the COVID-19 pandemic has really made this traditional high school experience difficult. That's right, Anya. And a recent verdict by the AIA puts an end to winter sports. That's until the verdict was disputed by district superintendents around the state. Here's more. The Arizona Interscholastic Association, or AIA, strongly supports the return of athletics and competitive sports. However, it must be done so in the safest way possible. I think they should wait because they want to enjoy the sport that they're playing right now instead of having to worry about getting a vaccine first, even though it should be it should be okay for them to think about that. CDC recognizes the benefits of physical activity, particularly in this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. I absolutely think that they deserve to keep going because these some of these athletes that I know personally are going for scholarships. They're going for scholarships, and if a free, and if a virus stops that from stops their dreams from happening, it's it's heartbreaking. The challenge is to reintroduce physical activity in a manner that follows federal, state, and county public health guidelines to reduce the spread of illness amongst athletes, coaches, athletic training staff, and the community. There are general considerations for returning to play in youth sports that apply until there is an effective vaccine for COVID-19 and there's minimal community spread. These considerations include promoting behaviors that reduce the spread of illness, maintaining a healthy environment, maintaining healthy operations, and having protocols and procedures in place for when someone gets sick. Thanks. Despite the AIA, winter sports are in full swing. Matthew Gant has the latest. Over the winter break, wrestling enjoyed some team bonding with spike ball and soccer. Next, we see upperclassman Kalepa Nelson mentoring the newer wrestlers on takedown strategies. 
Last night, the Varsity Girls basketball team kicked off their 2021 season by hosting Barry Goldwater and overwhelming the Bulldogs with their full court pressure, with a final score of 57 to 22 in favor of our Desert Edge squad. Varsity recap: 67 to 60. The boys also took on Goldwater with a final score of 67 to 60. Shea Canes had a 34-point effort, and DETV's own Jake Clapper pitched to 20 points. The JV team also came away with a blowout victory, with a final score of 70-28 to taking down Goldwater. And finally, the freshman team also took down Goldwater with a final score of 49-19. to Great work to all the basketball players on their amazing victories. DE Girls Soccer kicked off the season, the competition Tuesday night, with the first game of the season. Greenway left the pitch defeated, really defeated, with an overall score of 6-1. to that's all for me in the world of DETV Sports. Back to you. Thanks for that, Matia. Now let's turn our attention to Jacob Patterson with the latest news from Arizona, the nation, and the world. Thanks for that, Anya. I'm Jacob Patterson. Let's see what's been going on around the world this week. On Wednesday, Joe Biden was inaugurated as the 46th President of the United States of America. His Vice President, Kamala Harris, is the first woman to hold office as well as the first person of Black and South Asian descent. The inauguration happened in a fortified Washington, D.C. amidst threat of possible violence after the events at the Capitol last week. Regarding the events at the Capitol, Jesus Rivera from Pensacola, Florida was arrested Wednesday after investigators say he uploaded multiple videos on his Facebook showing him taking part in the insurrection. One of him inside the Capitol that day, another as he was climbing out of a window. Though he was mistakenly said he was at the state Capitol, but it was clear he was at the U.S. Capitol. Now he's facing multiple charges including impending government and disorderly conduct. He had a, he had a hearing Wednesday, but there's no word on what came of it. While Biden was getting inaugurated this Wednesday, former President Trump began his post-presidential life as his motorcade approached his, his mile-ago property in Palm Beach, Florida. Trump opted to not attend the inauguration and was the first president to do so since 1869. That's all that went on in the world today. For DETV, I'm Jacob Anderson. Thanks for updating us on the latest going on in the world. Now let's move from news of the present to the news in the past with today's installment of Today in History. Thanks guys, this week in 1969 the Vietnam War officially started. Millions of Americans were sent to their death in a war they knew nothing about. One way that the US had so many people to send was the draft. If somehow you don't know, the draft is when the U.S. forces you into the army. With the draft came the term draft dodging, where you don't have to go into the army even if you were drafted. Draft dodging could land you thousands of fines and years of imprisonment, but in 1977, thousands of men sighed in relief when they heard that President Jimmy Carter pardoned every single draft dodger. We're saving the best for last, so don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. The spread of COVID-19. You should wear a mask when you are out in public or anytime you are around someone who does not live in your household. Or if you are sick and interacting with others at home and when you are caring for someone sick at home. It takes all of us to slow the spread and protect our community. Now it's time for our last segment of the day. And let's be honest, we've all slacked off a little during Google Meets. DETV looks to what may go on behind the camera in one DETV class. Good morning, class. Um, I see that it's been 10 minutes already and there's still only two people in my online ceramics class, which is kind of weird, but I'm gonna go ahead and take attendance. Okay. 
Nathan Vasquez. Nathan Ware. Okay, I got you. Jalen Soto. Your camera's off. You're, just, you're in the meat at least. Jalen Soto. I need it here. Jalen. As you guys know, um, we're going to be evaluated today on our Google Meet. Um, so no hoodies, no pajamas, no hats, no nothing. Make sure you're sitting up, not in bed, and um, look, you're ready to learn. All right, let's get started. Two hours later. That does it for today. Remember, you can send us requests, suggestions, story ideas, and announcements to detv2012 at gmail.com. Until next time, I'm Vaughn. And I'm Lignanco Carlson. Have a great day, Scorpions.